Wait, Nas and Khalees used to date? If that's you asking this question, go ahead and log out for me, baby. Not only were they a thing, but the two were married for almost a solid decade. Until everything hit the fan, that is. When one of hip hop's heavy hitters meets music's unidentifiable exception, it's bound to be a party. A party filled with lies, deception, and scandalous adventures that shake those looking from the outside in pure disbelief. Nas was putting the paws on Khalees? Khalees was putting the paws on Nas? Say it ain't so. Well, according to Khalees and Nas themselves, yup and yup. Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper may be hell-bent on his pro-conscious views throughout his career, but the Nas you may think you know supposedly isn't the same Nas experience behind closed doors, where you'd find a young Khalees battered and bruised at the mercy of her then-husband. So, in this case of he said, she said, who's telling the truth? It was all good just a week ago, and by a week ago, we're talking 20 years. When Khalees and Nas bumped into each other at the MTV Video Music Awards after party back in 2002, they and us never expected their relationship would play out like it did. How they go from being in love to hating each other's guts isn't anything we haven't heard before, but the circumstances leading up to it are a bit iffy. Diddy, of course, would be the host of the evening, throwing a huge after party following the MTV award ceremony, to which, as you know, in true Diddy fashion, was gonna be filled with the hottest of the hottest celebs, media, and all else in between. Chatting it up with her fellow peers, Khalees had no idea that a sly Nas would bump her accidentally on purpose and hit her with the pickup line that sent any lady swooning or not. What's your name? I had to make sure because I've been wanting to make you my wife for years. I mean, I guess, but it doesn't matter what we think because Khalees immediately took an interest, hitting him back with a, that's great because that's what I want to be. And so it was. Not too long after the two dated, Nas popped the big question, proposing in front of Khalees' friends and mother on Christmas Eve that same year, eventually getting married three years later. With Yara Shahidi, Zoe on ABC's Blackish and Grownish, in case you weren't aware because truth be told, neither was I, serving as their flower girl in the ceremony. Khalees and Nas's fairy tale was just the beginning. If only they could have predicted how their loving union would turn into the disaster it had become just a few years later. The pair kept their marriage on the down low for the most part. Although they were a couple goals for many on the surface, what lay beneath was anything but glorious. Doing a good job at separating their business from family life, needless to say, when the two did pop out together, it was a movie. The cameras, photo ops, events, all that. Whenever Nas was seen with his lady, there were never any issues. They were in sync, unproblematic, and honestly, the media couldn't get enough. Not like there was enough info to get a hold of them anyhow. A complete transformation compared to the info we've gathered today. The two even eventually had a son, Knight, born in 2009. And during this time when their family was just beginning, their marriage would come crashing down with Khalees racking up those divorce papers. Quickly. Just a few short months later, Khalees and Nas would be separated even after Nas had just spoken to the press and told us everything was good under the hood, contrary to the trouble-stirring and paradise rumors we'd been hearing about all that year. The couple had only been married for four years, but in that time, despite what we all may have heard, Nas and Khalees were far from the image the media had cultivated. Allegations of cheating on Nas's end speculated, making us believe that the infidelity had been the cause of the split. Although it probably should have been, Khalees insists that him stepping out wasn't the reason at all. In fact, the reason for their divorce went much, much deeper than that. It was never normal. An intense high would be when money was rolling in, 
We were young, but I was 22 when I met him. I was a baby. We were drinking too much, smoking too much. We were too much. We were spending too much. We were balling too much. We were living too hard. So when that comes down, it goes really low. There is no balance. There is no normalcy. Nine years after their divorce, Khalees finally decided to lay everything out on the table and tell her side of what really went down during an interview with Hollywood Unlocked back in 2018. The press was starved during their union, but post Nas and Khalees' breakup, sources came out like roaches scattering bits and pieces of confidential information regarding their relationship. And Khalees suspects that it had been Nas himself who leaked the info given that no one else would have known such private details, according to Khalees herself. While y'all thought she was just some loud mouth bitter ex, Khalees says you got the game messed up. In fact, Nas was out here giving every ounce of Chris Brown realness, no shade. A drunk mess is how Khalees referred to Nas whenever he drinks some of that liquid courage. Violent and verbally abusive were also a few words used to describe him. It had gotten to a point where Khalees was covered in bruises and only got the courage to even think about speaking out once those infamous photos of Rihanna's beaten and bloody face following the aftermath of Chris Brown's wrath hit the blogs. But despite him being zoned out of his mind and vaguely remembering any details, Nas was aware of the pain he had inflicted on his wife. Khalees recalled in those moments how Nas would give her a knowing look. Was she gonna snitch or not? Well, she didn't for nine whole years, but as the saying goes, What's done in the dark will eventually be brought to light and quite frankly, she didn't want y'all all up in her business. She was embarrassed, appalled, and wanted her marriage to work desperately to the point she said she'd become delusional and thinking that she could love past it all. She also told a rather comical story about Nas becoming so enraged that he'd taken a door off of the hinges in a fight or flight move, a drunk Khalees took it upon herself to hide all of the expensive jewelry she had rented for an event the same night. Upon waking, Khalees momentarily forgot that Nas had gone full Hulk mode on her the night prior and that she had actually hid her own jewelry, assuming they had gotten robbed instead. Don't get it twisted. Just as much as Khalees aired out Nas's wrongdoings, she also aired out her own shortcomings. This isn't some Ike and Tina tale. As much as Nas was throwing jabs at Khalees, Khalees caught, ate them, and threw them right back. Did he hit me? Mm-hmm. Did I hit him back? Mm-hmm. Khalees isn't a saint nor an angel by any means. She admits to being confrontational, opinionated, and isn't willing to back down or wave off any ill will coming from Nas's end. Nas, on the other hand, was not here for all of this exposing going on and took to his Instagram to let it be known that a lie don't care who tell it. After 10 years of keeping my silence during a decade of dealing with very hostile behavior and verbal abuse, and even your stepfather holding you back from one of your physical violent attacks on me right outside your house this year while trying to pick up our son while he watched from the window. It was my weekend and you denied me that because your parents were in town. I just went home. This has been my life for my son's entire life. Even our son wonders why you treat me the way you do. Now let Khalees tell it. This was nothing about Nas trying to spin the narrative. When Nas pulled up to Khalees' home to grab his son for their scheduled father and son time, it just so happened to be on Easter weekend, which Khalees and her parents celebrate, and Nas does not. So when she asked for their son to be dropped off later on Saturday evening so their son could spend Easter with Khalees and her parents, Nas wasn't having it and skirted off into the night, leaving his son behind. But wait, there's more. Why did I have to take you to court to see our son? Why, when I win joint custody, which is a win for both of us and our son, it helps us with both our schedules, why do you feel that's an attack on you? Is it control? I shouldn't have ignored the signs from your first song and video. I hate you so much right now, but I thought you was beautiful. Overall, there was too many good times. 
I have to say I wasn't the most faithful husband. I was immature. I'm sorry about that. You ask me why I didn't stop the divorce from happening. I tried. We are too different. Some things aren't meant to be. We were meant to be so that we could have our son, nothing more. You didn't like that. I prayed for your peace of mind for years because of your uneasy soul. You definitely don't know me now and probably never knew me. You make up this image of me that's not true, but it's funny because it's really you describing yourself. You made up stories about me and claimed I did things that you did. That would be the first and last time Nas ever directly addressed Khalees' claims. The irony in that last sentence being that Khalees described Nas as a covert narcissist after a friend had sent her a link describing what a narc was. The pot calling the kettle black or the truth? Further incidents involved Nas foreclosing his and Khalees' LA home after she came back from New York following the birth of their son. And Khalees claims that Nas isn't actively present in Night, their son's life, choosing to pose for photo ops, buying chains, and calling him his mini-me instead. Despite all of that, Khalees still chooses to try to have Nas involved in Night's life, even inviting Nas over for Thanksgiving with her and her family, including with her now late husband, Mike Mora. Till this day, Nas appears to have a love-hate relationship with his ex-wife, but was it because she was the one that got away? The relationship just couldn't work out despite Khalees doing all she could to hold it together. That was her husband, not just any random man she was dating and she wanted to make it work. Plus Nas was the way bigger artist and unfortunately we all know how that goes. She never started a fight, but never backed down and was never that angry to the point she'd swing first. To her, Nas hasn't changed a bit, and to Nas, neither has Khalees. It got to a point where he wondered if she ever truly loved him, but he admits, in fact, she did. A lot of divorces are bad because a woman is just being vindictive. She's not after the money, she just wants you to hurt the way she was hurt. Well, there you have it. Do you believe Nas's side, Khalees' side, or both? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. And stay tuned for more true celebrity stories.